to share on this. Sasa ninataka nishiriki kwa haya. Very hot. Moto kabisa. From the throne of the Lord. Kutoka kwa kiti cha enzi cha Bwana. This past night. Usiku huu uliopita. The Lord spoke with me. Bwana alilena pamoja nami. And in that conversation. Na katika mazungumzo hayo. The Lord he lifted me up. Bwana aliniinua juu kabisa. He took me right above the earth. Akanipeleka moja kwa moja juu ya dunia. This past night. Usiku huu uliopita. And he took me right into the deep space. Na akanipeleka moja kwa moja mpaka ile nafasi iliyo kwenye vilindi. And we crossed a section. Tukavuka sehemu which was covered I think it is one stratosphere. Nadhani ni sehemu moja. It is one zone very high up there. Ni sehemu moja kule juu zaidi. And it is covered. Nayo imefunikwa with cloud like substance na kitu cha kama mawingu that is another zone na hiyo ni sehemu nyingine and then the lord said alafu kisha bwana akasema look and when i looked towards my right na nilipo angalia kuelekea upande wangu wa mkono wa kulia i saw several planets because they were lit kwa maana zilikuwa na mwangaza on my right hand side upande wangu wa mkono wa kulia right deep into the planets moja kwa moja ndani katika anga they went far zikaenda mbali and i saw them line up na nikaona zikipanga mstari everybody watch here kila mtu tazama hapa as they lined up zilipopanga mstari this night usiku huu wa leo the lord took me here above Bwana alinipeleka hapa juu. And the way they were lined up. Na jinsi ile ilikuwa imepanga mstari. They were like one here, one here, one here, one here, one here but in a kind and a line. Ilikuwa imepangwa moja hapa, ingine hapa, ingine hapa, ingine hapa. Kana kwamba kwa mstari. Let me face this way. Hebu niangalie upande huu. The way they were lined up. Jinsi ile ilikuwa imepanga mstari. The planets. Miezi ile sayari on my right hand side katika mkono wangu wa kulia it was one here one here one here one here but in a general straight line ilikuwa moja hapa nyingine pale moja hapa nyingine pale lakini kimjumla ilikuwa kwa mstari mwembamba then the lord spoke by voice kisha bwana akanena kwa sauti and he said na akasema it shall soon be discovered itatambuliwa hivi karibuni so what i'm giving you today kwa hivyo kile ninachopatieni hivi leo you are soon going to see in your global news telecast hivi karibuni mtaenda kukiona katika matangazo ya habari zenu za runinga i saw the process of creation niliona ile hatua ya uumbaji this night usiku huu when the lord took me high above the sky wakati bwana alinipeleka juu kabisa kwenye anga and i saw his hand na nikaona mkono wake and he, 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 push it a little bit with his hand na akausukuma kidogo hivi kwa mkono wake and it made a sitting on that white uh, the white cloud whatever it was na ukafanya kuketi kwa kile kitu kilichokuwa kinakaa wingu leupe and then the voice and then the voice of the lord said alafu kisha sauti ya bwana ikasema let us now go hebu sasa twende but let us use another route lakini wacha tutumie njia nyingine then we use the route in this direction na tukatumia njia katika mwelekeo huu as we were now coming back down to the earth sasa tulipokuwa tunarudi chini duniani and then he in that direction alafu katika huo mwelekeo he brought me to an institution akanileta kwenye taasisi as we arrived on the earth tulipofika hivi duniani the lord we arrived at an institution tulifika kwenye taasisi the lord brought me into an institution bwana alinileta katika taasisi fulani that institution hiyo taasisi it has a lobby area the entrance gate iko na lango la kuingilia a lobby area Ma, mahali hapo panaitwa lobby and i think it is semi circle na ni kama mduara nusu and and inside that gate na ndani ya hilo lango there were small booths 
kulikuwa na vibanda vidogo vidogo and those booths na hivyo vibanda vidogo vidogo they appear to have computers and they were being used by some people even students i think vyaonekana vilikuwa na watu ambao vinatumika naonekana wanafunzi pia walikuweko maybe doctoral students labda wanafunzi wa udaktari of astronomy au wa hali ya hewa of physics the universe au fizikia na hali ya ulimwengu but i saw that uh, the booths were a little bit untaken care of lakini nikaona kwamba vibanda hivyo kidogo hivi vilikuwa havijashughulikiwa and then the lord said open the door so let us go kisha bwana akasema kaufungue mlango ili twende and then when the door opened halafu kisha mlango ulipofunguliwa it had this kind of uh, this kind you open like this and it goes like this with things like this ilikuwa aina hiyo ya mlango unayofungua inaenda hivi na ilikuwa na vitu kama hivyo and we came out na tukatoka and then i woke up alafu nikaamuka listen precious people sikilizeni watu wa thamani there is going to be a planetary event kunaenda kukua na tukio ambalo ni la kisayari above the earth here juu ya dunia hapa there is going to be a wonder a sign and wonder kunaenda kukuwa na ishara na ajabu above the earth here juu ya dunia hapa listen to me the nations of the earth nisikilizeni mataifa ya dunia the lord he has spoken with me bwana amenena pamoja nami on this day katika siku hii on this fifth day katika siku hii ya tano of the month of august ya mwezi wa agosti the year 2012 mwaka wa 2012 i speak this unto you ninanena haya kwenu that the lord he has spoken with me ya kwamba bwana amenena pamoja nami about a planetary event kuhusu tukio la kisayari that is going to take place ambalo linaenda kufanyika high above the earth juu juu zaidi ya ardhi dunia i see several planets that are lining up in a straight line ambayo imepanga mstari katika msharazi ambao ni sambamba they are going to line up inaenda kupanga mstari it may not be a straight straight line huenda haitakuwa ni mstari sambamba ulionyoka kabisa but it is one here one here one here one here generally straight line lakini itakuwa ni moja hapa nyingine pale moja hapa nyingine pale kijumla mstari ulionyoka and then there is going to be a discovery alafu kunaenda kuwa na uvumbuzi the lord has created a new planet bwana ameumba sayari mpya and the scientists na wana sayansi the lord is going to open their minds now bwana anaenda kufungua mawazo yao sasa to allow them to discover it kuwaruhusu wakaivumbue and you will soon see it in your global news networks na hivi karibuni mtaiona katika mitandao ya vyombo vyenu vya habari and when you see that planetary event na wakati mtakapoona tukio hilo la kisayari then you shall know kisha mtajua that the mouth of the lord ya kwamba kinywa cha bwana he has spoken amenena that and that the messiah na ya kwamba masihi he is coming anakuja for a glorious church kwa ajili ya kanisa lilotukufu that these are the signs and wonders kwamba hizi ndizo ishara na maajabu that the prophet joel talked about ambayo nabii joheli alinena kuihusu that would visit the earth ambayo ingelitembelea dunia and the universe na ulimwengu when he said wakati aliposema that there will be signs and wonders ya kwamba kutakuwa na ishara na maajabu in these days katika siku hizi in the sky katika anga even above the earth hata juu ya dunia today leo may it be known hebu na ijulikane that the mouth of the lord ya kwamba kinywa cha bwana he has spoken amenena shalom shalom
The Lord has created a new planet. Bwana ameumba sayari mpya. And the scientists. Na wana sayansi. The Lord is going to open their minds now. Bwana anaenda kufungua mawazo yao sasa. To allow them to discover it. Kuwaruhusu wakaivumbue. And you will soon see it in your global news networks. Na hivi karibuni mtaiona katika mitandao ya vyombo vyenu vya habari. And when you see that planetary event. Na wakati mtakapoona tukio hilo la kisayari. Then you shall know. Kisha mtajua that the mouth of the Lord ya kwamba kinywa cha Bwana he has spoken amenena CNN breaking news. Two astronomers discovered something like this. It's called a circumbinary planet, which means it orbits two suns. Only the one that was just discovered is believed to be orbited by two more distant stars. So you're looking at one planet, four suns. And scientists compared their findings with professional astronomers to confirm the finding of the four-star planet. This particular planet has four suns. The suns are actually rotating around each other and the planet is kind of caught in the middle. There has been a discovery made of a planet that is being orbited by four stars. Plasma discharges happening on Jupiter or to find planets with four suns orbiting around them. They find it very hard to explain these new discoveries. You see, now they are going to have to create mile-long equations to explain how we have four stars orbiting a planet. Astronomers have found a planet whose skies are illuminated by four different suns, the first known of its type. The distant world orbits one pair of stars and has a second stellar pair revolving around it. Astronomers have announced the discovery of a planet in a four-star system. Since the discovery was made, the planet has been given the designation PH1, or Planet Hunters 1 since this is the first planetary find for planet hunters. The actual star system consists of two pairs of binary stars orbiting each other. The planet PH1 in turn orbits one of these binary pairs and is about the size of our planet Neptune. Astronomers have discovered a new planet that has four suns, the first quadruple star system ever discovered. The distant Neptune-like world orbits one pair of stars that in turn have a second stellar pair revolving around them. The University of Oxford researcher told the BBC, quote, All four stars pulling on it creates a very complicated environment, yet there it sits in an apparently stable orbit. That's really confusing. Named PH1 after the Planet Hunters website, the planet's existence was confirmed by scientists using Hawaii's Keck Observatory. I see several planets 
that are lining up in a straight line they are going to line up Inaenda kupanga mustari. it may not be a strict straight line Uenda haita kuwa, ni mustari sambamba ulionyoka kabisa. but it is one here one here one here one here generally straight line lakini itakuwa ni moja hapa nyingine pale moja hapa nyingine pale kijumla mustari ulionyoka and then there is going to be a discovery alafu kunaenda kuwa na uvumbuzi and the way they were lined up na jinsi ile ilikuwa imepanga mustari they were like one here one here one here one here one here but in a kind and a line ilikuwa imepangwa moja hapa ingine hapa ingine hapa ingine hapa kana kwamba kwa mstari let me face this way hebu niangalia upande huu the way they were lined up jinsi ile ilikuwa imepanga mstari the planets miezi ile sayari on my right hand side katika mkono wangu wa kulia it was one here one here one here one here but in a general straight line ilikuwa moja hapa nyingine pale moja hapa nyingine pale lakini kiumjumla ilikuwa kwa mstari mwembamba The Lord brought me into an institution. Bwana alinileta katika taasisi fulani. That institution. Hiyo taasisi. It has a lobby area, the entrance gate. Iko na lango la kuingilia. A lobby area. Ma mahali hapo panaitwa lobby. And I think it is semi circle. Na ni kama mduara nusu. And and inside that gate. Na ndani ya hilo lango. There were small booths kulikuwa na vibanda vidogo vidogo and those booths na hivyo vibanda vidogo vidogo they appear to have computers and they were being used by some people even students i think vionekana vilikuwa na watu ambao vinatumika na yaonekana wanafunzi pia walikuweko maybe doctoral students labda wanafunzi wa udaktari of astronomy au wa hali ya hewa of physics the universe au fizikia na hali ya ulimwengu And when I looked towards my right Na nilipoangalia kuelekea upande wangu wa mkono wa kulia I saw several planets they were lit Kwa maana zilikuwa na mwangaza
has spoken with me again, and he spoke with me about the coming of the Messiah. That was yesterday at night. The Lord spoke with me about the coming of the Messiah. And in that conversation, he also showed me the signs that you see in the Bible. And very soon there is going to be a planetary event. I see a planetary event that is coming the, the way of the earth. And he said, sign of the end of age. And when I look very carefully, it will be very visible from Australia. Australians will, will, will view it much better than the rest of the earth. Well, the Lord said that when these things happen, men would know that the end has drawn nigh. CNN breaking news. Earth actually came uncomfortably close to a gigantic asteroid this week. NASA estimates that it was as big as 154 feet in diameter. That's about the size of the one that slammed into Siberia a century ago. NASA says that Monday's incident was a close call. That asteroid about 38,000 miles away when it whizzed by. That seems pretty far, but it's less than twice the distance from the Earth's surface as some telecommunications satellites will show. When you see that planetary event, then you shall know that the mouth of the Lord, He has spoken Amenena. that end of the Messiah, He is coming. 
for a glorious church that these are the signs and wonders that the prophet Joel talked about that would visit the earth and the universe when he said that there will be signs and wonders in these days in the sky even above the earth today may it be known that the mouth of the Lord he has spoken Shalom Shalom